Education. Colegio de Santa Isabel, now Universidad de Santa Isabel, was founded by the Daughters of Charity in 1868 and became the first normal school for women in the Philippines. Throughout the years, the Isabelina was looked upon in Naga as an icon of modesty in fashion. It was the wish of most young girls in Bicol to be identified as an Isabelina, proud to be wearing the Isabelina uniform. Today, we will be showcasing the evolution of the Isabelina uniform. The Isabelina's claim to fame for good grooming was not confined inside the walls of the school campus. The popular Isabelina frequented the local social scene. The Isabelina was quick to adapt the latest American fashion trends as the Philippines was a colony of the United States during the first half of the 20th century. Today, we will also be showing you how the Isabelina dressed for the off-campus events. Let's go back to the 1930s. Up until the early 1940s, the Isabelina uniform consisted of the white pleated dress with long sleeves, navy blue collar, navy blue low waist belt, white shoes, and white socks. Here's the Isabelina wearing the uniform of the 1930s. The 1930s and 1940s was the period of the American Great Depression and World War II. During this period, a more conservative approach to fashion displaced that of the light-hearted, forward-looking attitude and fashions of the late 1920s. For women, skirts became longer and the waistline was returned up to its normal position in an attempt to bring back the traditional womanly look. The theme of the 40s was a conservative look which would remain fashionable through multiple seasons. Let's take a look at the Sabellina in the 1940s ready to party. <laughs> of the teenage cult mutated the fashion from much disciplined style to more flexible 1950s glamour, the defined waistline and the gorgeous full and voluminous skirts. Let's rock and roll with the Sabellinas of the 50s at their weekend jam session with their Atenista counterparts. <laughs> to the 1970s, the Sabellina wore the uniform that is all too familiar to most of us here today, the starchy blue pleated dress with big white round collar, white belt, wearing black shoes, and white socks. Let's watch the Sabellina walking to the Calesa stop on a rainy day. <laughs>
on special religious events, the Isabelina wore the gala uniform. This consists of the white pleated skirt, white long sleeve blouse, white veil, white shoes, and white socks. Here's the Isabelina at the Peña Francia Traslación procession, clasping at the rosary beads while making side glances to check if the Atenistas and Seminaristas are nearby. <laughs> was a decade that broke with many fashion traditions that mirrored social movements during the period. The mini skirt was invented, which became very popular throughout the 60s. The hippie movement late in the decade also exerted a strong influence on ladies' clothing styles, including bell-bottom jeans, tie-dye, and batik fabrics, as well as paisley prints. Let's try to dig the groovy Isabelinas of the 60s under the influence of the stars and planets. <laughs> The 70s decade began with a continuation of the hippie look from the 1960s. By 1970, women chose who they wanted to be, and if they felt like wearing a short mini skirt one day and a maxi dress, mini skirt, or hot pants the next day, that's what they did. The elevation provided by platform sole shoes, which were the epitome of the spirit of the 70s, also gave an air of theatrical space age fantasy. It's disco time with the disco feverish Zappelinas of the 70s. <laughs> 